If your card is the seven of clubs, then we talking about victory. We talking about profession. Because the seven is the young soul, which is also the old soul. The young in looks and appearance, but the old soul when it comes to wisdom and intuition, the God force. That's the gift that seven carry. We talking about the seven of clubs. We talking about spiritual knowledge. So this spiritual knowledge comes from within, and this is the power. They're not just giving them an opportunity to exercise their right judgment of values, but it secures their protection when unfairness is applied. They often worry about finances, but they can always make good money if they work for it. So many of the sons of clubs do work. You know what I mean? And these people watch out for getting in the panic and getting into some unwise investments or or get into a get-rich-quick scheme that leaves them weaker than ever. So education is their prime source. So when this is neglected, is problems, it's so much, it's so so much problems they have, and this is basically it. But the seven should train their minds to be strong and never uh, die to pressure. Cause pressure, they they got the powers to overcome that. Cause this deal with victory. And so seven, we always say the mind is heaven. We always say this is the subconscious. This is the urge for spiritual development, a spiritual uh, growth, a self-help. I mean, because the seven is all always growing. So this is the spiritual plane. Then we talk about the clubs deal with the mind. So this is the spiritual mind. And so if you are the seven of clubs, you must realize that you always can succeed. And you can succeed through your work and applying this knowledge to your life applying what you know so watch out for any pettiness that i mean and so it's for you to watch out for gambling to watch out for playing mind games watch out for being careless and thoughtless living and so you as the center club you you are the one who are about the upright life or the positive life and through positivity this is how you win. You have to develop your intuitive powers. Once you develop your intuitive powers, you wear the crown of life. And you will achieve success. But you can be opinionated and stubborn, very stubborn. And you can be very competitive. Then then you can be very competitive and not cooperate. Because you like debates on knowledge type subjects. Subjects of all kinds. And especially some subjects that deals with uh, the political aspects. And being a lawyer and all this here, you can achieve. That I mean, because you make a great person who always brings the facts. You don't play. And I might have some supporting and nurturing mother who stimulates your ambitions. You know what I mean? Or any, uh, or you can be the one who come back with them. Or you can have a, a father who's come back to you, you know what I mean? Who who give you the aspiration, you know what I mean? However, you must stand your own grounds, regardless of your mother or your father or your family or any influence. Because you are the influence once you have the knowledge to back you, you know what I mean? You might tend to live a, a flamboyant life or expensive life. Because you have expensive taste, you know what I mean? So you like to live good, you know? So the big challenge for you is to manage your money wisely because you, you, you're the person who really don't care about money because you deal with the mind and the spiritual aspects. And so it's for you to manage your money, you know what I mean? You know, because seven represents spiritual uh, victory. And seven people can be very uh, critical of others and suspicious and so judgmental, you know what I mean? So, and they can be nasty with them tongues they have. They have them sharp tongue, tongues in their mouth. So, you as the seven, it's best for you to balance yourself out. Because balance is the key to all sevens, definitely. And really, all all, all of the universe uh, vibrational frequency is balanced. It, it operate on balance. So, with this being said, seven needed more than anyone. That I mean, because you have so much power, especially with the spiritual world. You're like magical. So, you have the, the artistic visions, and you're good in scientific research, 
That I mean, so all of this, it deals with the seven. It deals with the spiritual identity. And, and so when we talk about the seven, the mind is always like the air and the mind is on fire. So we're talking about the, the, the intelligence and and the club rules, the mental process and the psychological reactions and communications and the message. So you'll be good with the message. And so definitely you might be the type that love the aga debate. And you spread some news, and as long as you don't get into the to the person, the type of person, as long as you don't be the type of person that gospel, that gossip, you good. That I mean, and so you you the type who like to investigate, and so when you say something, you like to to back it up with facts. So education is very important to you, uh, and the legal mat legal matters you might be good at. That I mean literature. Writing, all of this is part of who you are. That I mean, and so you are interested in, in ideas and the ways of communication because you may have many ways and many styles, many forms to communicate and express yourself through writing also and also through creative outlets. And so you the type who love knowledge. You like to learn from each and every one of everything and you're a deep thinker. And so at the 7 the Club, your main weapon is your mind. Like all sevens, definitely. And someone attacking your ideas may become your greatest enemy. And you would do well the occupation which, which, which provides you with the opportunity to share your knowledge, your mental powers with others, such as teaching, the law, writing, counseling, and creative activities. Seven represents the tree of life, the spirit of victory, and profession, as I say. That I mean, so we're talking about the mystical people. And... Also, the most beautiful, and they have the reward and influence in anyone's life as a seven. So the seven is a highly spiritual card, but it's up to the the seven, the club people. It's up to you to manifest the spiritual aspects and turn your negativity into accomplishment and personal freedom. So this being said, your challenges rest in the negative aspects of your mind, which is worry, doubt, and pessimistic, being the saddest. That I mean, so you must overcome that. And understand that that you have the powers of the universe. So you should be happy. You got every reason to be happy. You know what I mean? And so you have the power to overcome your problems and attain fame and recognition. You know what I mean? What you secretly desire within you. But you must apply it yourself. Apply it to your life. And this is how you win. You know what I mean? You're likely to have a large sum of money or money coming uh, in and out of your life at different times in your life. But you often spend it so fast as soon as you get it because you don't care, really care nothing about money as the spiritual knowledge type card. You know what I mean? Because you're more spiritual than material. So this being said, you're not the best money manager. So it's for you to discipline yourself to stay balanced and watch your money. You know what I mean? Because money can be spent faster than it's made. It's simple as that. as the seven vibration. You know what I mean? From the club, more than any other car, has the greatest responsibility to maintain positive, healthy thoughts. Because, you know, when we talk about the spiritual aspects, you got to eat right. You got to eat because you deal with energy, you deal with vibrations. So you got to eat that type of uh, food, too, and you got to think that way. You know what I mean? You got to think positive because it's, it's, it deals with vibration, it deals with frequency and energy. And so as the number seven, honesty and integrity is a part of your life. As long as you don't be that thief. In the night, you can overcome that. You know what I'm saying? And so, you 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 could be the one who suffer, especially in the areas of love and family. You know what I mean? So, as long as you balance, you're right. You know what I mean? So that's basically it. As the seven of the club, who's about you? That if you apply your knowledge, you have more power to succeed than anyone. You know what I mean? To be successful in love, romance, or whatever field. You know what I mean? And that's the true story. It depends on your situation and how you handle the situation. But if you apply this knowledge, you're going to win. Just master your emotions. And don't be so attached to people, places, and things that, I mean, are so emotionally involved or romantically involved until you can fantasize and it be an illusion. you got to recognize what is real and what is not. you got every power to recognize that. You know, through your strong intellectual, spiritual, knowledge, knowledgeable mind, you got it. Go personal attachment of others and create a positive attitude about your partner as well as the rest of your life. 
you know what I mean? You, you would do better with a partner. You would do better through marriage. This is how you, you know, get that money up. So marriage is very important to you. And any kind of uh, uh, cooperating with people and places that create spiritual harmony. You know what I'm saying? Because you do do well. You're nasty a leader. You know what I mean? As a seven. So at the seven of clubs, you have a special connection with spades, women, and women who are hard working and, and determined. Regardless of the suit. You know what I mean? Because the seven of clubs, tend to, you tend to hold fantasies. About other club men, the female seven of club tend to hold fantasies about other club men, and greatly challenged by the diamond males, and you represented by by the jack of diamond Pluto card. So, uh, a male spades might be the perfect match for a female seven of club. Knowledge, metaphysics, and philosophy is a part of you. This is the field that you do best. Anything that deals with the mind. Okay. Your planetary ruling cards, which is your second cause. Each each birthday got a different planetary ruling card. Now I'm about to call out your second card you need to look at, you need to research, you need to watch an audio or video on. Cause this has this is this is powerful as your sun card, which is the seven of clubs right here. And so your sun card is the first because it's your main energy. So we got to say, if you're born on March the 29th, your Aries, your second card is the Jack of Clubs. April the 27th, the Taurus, yours is the Queen of Spades. May the 25th, the Gemini, yours is the Five of Diamonds. June the 23rd, the Cancer, yours is Nine of Hearts. And July the 21st, the Cancer, yours is the Nine of Hearts. August the 19th, the Leo, yours, the Seven of Clubs, so you don't have no other card. Even though there's many other cards that you have, but they're more minor compared to these two, your Sun card, but you only have one. Okay, September the 17th, the Virgo, yours, the Five of Diamonds. October the 15th, the, the Libra, yours, the Queen of Clubs. November the 13th, the Scorpio, yours, the Jack of Clubs and Jack of Diamonds. December the 11th, the, the Sagittarius, yours the 9 of diamonds. And as I can't let bring you this light, it gets no realer than this. I shake.